Hi everybody, and welcome back to Ancolot River in Florida. I had an awesome day on the water with my son. We had dolphins, rain, sunshine, more rain, and lots of spotted sea trout. At the end of this video, I'll do a catch and clean. So I'll show you how to prepare the spotted sea trout for eating. Thank you for tuning in, and if you enjoy this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Is the fish on? Grab the net, grab the net, grab the net. Put this up in here. Just gonna grab the net. It's a bigger fish. Quickly grab the net. You got the net? Yeah. Is it a big fish? Yeah, hold it. Open the net up. What? Hold the net, hold the net. Is it a big fish? Oh, it's a catfish. Oh, damn it. Well, would it be a perfect size for a trout? It would be, yeah. Okay, that's the first fish of the day for me. Watch out, because I've got lots of spikes on them. Okay, got them. No. Turned on. Is it a good trout? Just a baby trout. Put it in the net. Leave it in the water, bring it to me. There you go, you got, all, you got your first little trout. No, I got my second. Second little trout. But is it a little bit bigger? It's a little bit bigger, yeah. Ooh, it's just splatting on my face. Good fishing, Ethan. It got hooked on. You have to be careful because of their teeth, see? They've got really strong, strong teeth. But is it, but is it the good size? No, it's a bit too small. Can I throw That's it in? okay. Let's look here. Can I pet him? Boop, go. Let him go, let him let go. Let him go, let him go. Oh, I think, oh, He's I away. Oh. There's a fish on there. Oh, it? what's going on? There's a fish on. There's a little fish on. Turn on your camera. Camera's on. Oh my god, it's a good size. Oh my god. Can you see it? it? Yeah, I see it. Is it what is this? Let me get them. Where's what, the net? Is it perfect for size trout? No, it's a ladyfish either. What's a can you eat ladyfishes? Bring bring the ladyfish to me. Bring it to me. Just keep her in the water. Bring it to me. Keep her in the water. Wind it to me. Wind it to me. Wind it to me. Actually, just pull it up here. It's is a nice it little size? lady. Yeah, it's a good size ladyfish. Can you Hold eat this. It? Can you eat it? You can, but they're not very good eating. They're a bit difficult to eat. How, do, how are they easy? It's nice, isn't it? I got three fishes today. Okay, just a little ladyfish. Oh Pass my to God, me. They swim so fast. Fish on. It's not a big one. May I get it? I think it's off. May I? I said I think it's off. Oh, it's a baby little trout. How cute. Is it really small? Very small. Daddy's got the smallest fish of the day. We have we basically caught six fish together. That's a beautiful little trout, yeah? Yeah, so cute. Back in the water. Are you still recording? Yep. What? I'm still recording. Fish on. This is a bigger fish. Hopefully it's not a catfish. Can I do it? Yeah, it's, it's fighting a bit like a catfish. Oh no, it's not a catfish, it's a trout. Can I wind it in please? Can grab I the net, it? grab the net, put the net down. Is it good size to keep? It's much better, it might be. Let's check it out. 
Wow, we got one. Is it good? I don't know, we need to check it. Can you get the can you get the measuring stick from in there? Okay, got it. Okay, got it. You know how big they're supposed to be? Yeah, 15 inches, Ethan. It looks big, like it's like 15. What if it's like almost 15? Can we We have to put it back. Almost. How about 16? Let's check them out. Hold it there. Just 15. So put them, so, he, so we can keep them. Yay. Look at that. Nice little keeper trout. Okay, wander in, wander in. Okay, keep the fish on. It's not a big one. How do you feel it? Because it's so hard. How do you know it's a, not a big one? It's a puffer. It's a puffer fish. Oh, what is this? Oh, puffer fish. I love these guys. Oh, Bring them over here. What's up, puffer fish? Bring them over here. Well, you actually remind me of hold the game this, because hold I have this. a puffer fish ball. I mean, is it poisonous? Uh, to eat, yes. Can I pet it? Wait, it's puffed up. It puffed up. Don't touch it. Oh, my best there you go. Wait, is it puffed up? Wait, I want to pet it. Do you want to go down? It's gone. Back in the water. Fish on. Grab the net, grab the net. I think it's a trout. Oh, it's a bit smaller. It's off now. Now it's on. Grab the net. Okay. Nice. It's small, it's small. What is it? It's a little trout. Wait, maybe it's a good size. No, no, it's too small. Okay. Uh, he wants to fight a lot, though. What? It's a cute little trout, isn't it? Okay. I dare you to throw it. Just let him back in this. I dare you to throw it. Not go on. Just another little fish. Can I another little trout. Yeah, it's a little trout. Okay, then. You can put him back in. Because he's out of the water too. Sure. Show him to the camera. Lift up the camera. And put him back in nice and easily. Fish on. Fish on. Can I wind it in? Wait, may I wind it in? Just a second. Oh, it's another trout. How many trout are today? We're catching so many fish. Can I put him in? Another beautiful little trout. Yeah, you can put them in. Oh, two hands, please. Two hands, two hands, and put them in the water. Carefully put them in the water. Thank you. That's it. What is it? Wind it, wind it what in. Just wind it? it in. Don't lift it out of the water. Wind it over here. What's a keeper trout? It means it's big enough to keep. Put the line oh down. Put the rod down. Carefully. That is so cool. First, let's check and keep it. He looks like a pretty. Okay. Looks cute. And can he keep? Just put his tail on the end. Hold his tail on the end. Yes, yeah, so you can keep him. It's 15 and a half inches. Oh my god, that was so. On. Is it on? Yeah, I think it's a little trout. There is. Uh, are you recording? It's a pinfish. Are you recording? I am recording, yeah. Wait, why, why is that a pinfish? He was trying to eat my shrimp. Wait, are there pinfishes here? Can you eat? Fish on. That's just a baby. Just a nice little baby.
look at that beautiful little trout, Ethan. It's probably just about 12 inches. It's a little bit too small to keep. Can you see them all? Yeah, yeah I'm recording them. Fish on, fish on, Ethan. That's a baby trout. Come on, little fella. Fish on, bigger fish, Ethan. This might be a nice trout. Grab the net, grab the net, grab the net. Oh, I think it's a catfish. On its trout, grab the net. Hmm, he might be a bit too small. It's a bit better. What pliers are just there? Grab the pliers. Let's check if it's big enough. Okay. Please don't be enough. Yeah, let's go. Let me see. Just close his mouth. Fish on. So he's off. That was a trout as well. as quickly as possible. Oh, it's a little trout, I think. What? Hey, buddy. Can you put him, put him in the water, please? How do you say, hey, buddy? Is he baby? No, don't, don't, don't drop him in. Don't drop him in. Don't. Push on. It's a, it's a bigger one. It's a bigger trout. It's a baby trout. Let's go. Ow, ow, stop it! Stop smacking me! That's a baby, can I let him get it back in? You want to put him back in? Mm -hmm. Two hands, carefully. Put him back in nicely. Thank you. Okay. I'm now going to prepare the trout for eating. The first thing you want to do is cut along the stomach cavity line and remove the insides of the fish. The next thing that you'll do is you'll remove the head.
What I then do is I scale the fish. So removing all the scales from both sides. The next step is to remove the tail fin. And then what I do next is remove the other fins from the top and along the bottom and then wash the fish and it's ready for the kitchen. So I'm going to show you how I prepare sea trout and I prepare it in the exact same way that I'll prepare river trout. So as you saw earlier, I removed all of the scales from the fish, I took off the, um, the fins and I gutted it, but I've left it whole. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to wrap it in tin foil, but I'm going to stuff the cavity of the fish with some fresh lemon. And just to make sure the fish stays nice and moist, I'm also going to put some olive oil in and I'll also, you could also put butter in there. Butter will work just as well. And then you want to season it with whichever you feel best. I'm going to put a bit of black pepper in. I also like garlic salt, which I've got going in there. And I have some oregano. But you can use whatever seasoning you, know, you prefer. It's really your preference. And then what you want to do is you want to wrap the fish up, like so. I have the oven heating up to 400 degrees Celsius, and I'll put it in for around about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll check on it after 12 minutes to see how it's going. And if it's a larger fish, it'll need a little bit longer, but you can check on it again. Right, as you can see there, it's at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to put it in now for around about 10 to 15 minutes. And we'll come back shortly to check it out. Right, so let's check it out. like we need another five minutes. That's perfect, and we just want to put a little bit of extra lemon on it, some fresh lemon. And there we go, it tastes absolutely perfect. Thank you all for tuning in. And I hope to see you again soon.